simple fact is that we've had huge budget cuts. But people still need us to do great work. The citizens of our state and our students need us to do high quality work. So we've needed to reinvent ourselves. And the libraries are a fabulous example of that. They're a way that we can maintain quality, that we can maintain even better 24-7 services to our students and still do it with less. People are using libraries more than ever, and that's the physical library. Um, the virtual library is used even more than the physical library. It is a place for people to come and meet, to collaborate, to create new knowledge. It's the only neutral space at a university where people from all sorts of disciplines can come together, not just from the university community, but outside of the university community as well. The libraries have always looked at how can we use technology to save money, save time, provide better services. The library is a great example of the kinds of transformation that are happening here on campus all over the place. They're constantly looking at ways in which they can improve their services while at the same time having cost savings so that all our dollars can be directed at our core missions better. We have taken new space uh, that has been liberated through the consolidation of branch libraries to create new exciting spaces like the Research Commons. That's been wildly successful. I come to the Research Commons to use the plasma screens because they help us to share our work. I like the space because it's easy to work in a group. Um, it's easy to uh, pull tables together and, and get a group effort going. We didn't want to lock the space into place in the beginning. We wanted our um, students and faculty and staff and the academic community to really tell us what they needed in the space by moving things into place on a day-to-day -day basis. We're looking at ways we can use technology. How can we use the technology to take the collections that we have at the University of Washington and make them available? So in the 21st century, scholarship means that we need to be everywhere. So for us to you know, take our print collections and, and the residual print material that we have and to make that available worldwide is really important for us to do. We have systems now that we can pull the materials from the shelves, scan them, and then send them as PDF files to faculty and students. There's nothing better than saving time, saving money, and still having a high quality of, of work. We really see the scanning project and you know, many other things that we do in the libraries as saving the time of the user. The electronic resources provided at any time, uh, any place that there's a Wi-Fi connection through my UW library account, um, enhances my experience in the classroom and certainly my students' experience in the classroom. During class, when a student asks a question, I have the world of archival journals and books available to me that I can bring to bear instantaneously. So while working on my dissertation, um, the UW Libraries Electronic Resource is a great source to find journals, uh, dissertations. We're going to move as aggressively as we can to making information available um, through the web anytime, anyplace. Having technology and information online is vitally important in the health sciences. Not having a physical library space enables me to go out into people's work areas and essentially embed me within the hospital setting. I carry an iPad, so if a question arises at the bedside, I can address their question immediately. One of the most popular services that we do with technology is our chat service. And we're part of an international coalition that we help each other um, through the time zones to answer questions from each other's clientele um, whenever they need it. So at 3 o'clock in the morning, we're actually not answering the questions at the University of Washington, but our colleagues in Australia are answering the questions for us. We welcome all the students who come to our in-person service points, but we also have this online chat reference service where we provide the same sort of support. I use the chat service because it's accessible any time or place and I can get what I need no matter where I am. We really have to anticipate the changes that are happening so we really pay attention to changes in technology, trends in higher education and teaching and learning so that we can anticipate how things are going to change in the future and not only just react uh, to, to the changes that are kind of thrust upon us. So uh, I, th I think we've really been leaders in trying to move our services that were traditionally based in a building, in a physical space, into an online environment. This work is part of a larger 
initiative that we're calling 2Y2D, two years to two decades. It's a way in which we as a university are looking at ourselves and not only thinking about what do we want to look like two years from now, but also where do we want to be two decades from now. During these very difficult times, we sometimes tend to look inward and it's really important to look at the horizon. We have wonderful places to go and we will be Premier University two decades from now. But the work of getting there starts now.